Hello everyone, this is Rashi Janjala. I am an educator at Anacademy. You can follow me in Anacademy Learning App where you can find my other courses well. And in this lecture, we are going to recall all the formulas in the design of rolling contact bearings. And please rate, review and share the video and also subscribe to Anacademy YouTube channel. Let's recall the formulas in the design of rolling contact bearings. The equation for the equivalent dynamic load is written as P equals to X into VFR plus YFA where X and Y are the radial and the thrust factors and FR is the radial load and FA is the thrust load and V is the, the race rotation factor which is depends on the rotation of the race with respect to the shaft. Okay, And when the bearing subjected to pure radial load the value of V for actual application is equals to 1 and the value of X will become 1 and the value of a y into fa will be become 0 because fa value is 0 for pure radial load and the value of p the equivalent dynamic load becomes p equals to fr when the bearing subjected to pure thrust load fa the value of p fr is 0 and the value of y equals to 1 therefore from this relation we have the value of p the dynamic load the equivalent dynamic load is equals to p equals to fa and the relation between the dynamic load carrying capacity and the equivalent load and the bearing life is given by L10 equals to C by P to the power of P where L10 is the, the rating life corresponding to the reliability of 90% or 0 0.9 and C is the, the dynamic load carrying capacity and P is the, the equivalent load and where P is a constant which depends on the type of bearings or the type of contact between the the units in that bearing and also the races. So, the relation between the life in million revolutions and the life in working hours is given by L10 equals to 16 to N L10H by 10 to the power of 6 where N is the speed of the shaft and L10H is the, the life of the bearing in working hours units. Okay, So, if we get the value of L, the life of the bearing in hours we can convert it into million revolutions with the help of this relation okay this relation so we have for all types of ball bearings the value of p in this relation becomes 3 therefore on replacing the on solving this relation for the value of c we get c equals to p into l 10 to the power of 1 by 3 where the value of p here used for ball bearings which is equals to 3 and for all types of roll bearings, we have the value of C equals to P into L10 to the power of 0 0.3. Where for roller bearings, the value of P equals to 10 by 3. That's why we have got the value of C equals to P into 10 to the power L into L to the power of 0 0.3. Okay. So next, the equivalent load. For the complete work cycle, when the bearing is under the application of cyclic loads and speeds in certain intervals, where in those specified intervals, the value of the radial load and the corresponding value of the rotation or the speed of the shaft is constant. Therefore, we can use the formula for the equivalent load given by P E equals to cube root of N1 P1 Q plus N2 P2 Q plus and so on up to the number of elements chosen in that work cycle okay and by n1 plus n2 plus up to so on up to the number of elements used in in the work cycle okay and so on simplifying this relation we have p e equals to cube root of sigma n p q by sigma n okay so this is the relation used for the calculation of the equivalent load when of the bearing when the bearing is under cyclic loads of specified intervals and in those intervals the load and the corresponding value of the speed are constant okay so this equivalent load equation will be used for the calculation of the load carrying capacity and also all other details that i have so so in this equation we have the value of p right so in this equation also we have the value of p and in these equations also we have the value of p for the the dynamic load carrying capacity so this equivalent will be equivalent load will be substituted here for the calculation of c the dynamic dynamic load carrying capacity for the corresponding value of equivalent or the cyclic loads acting on that bearing so when the load load varies continuously with time the above equation is modified and written as p 
P equals to integral 0 to n P Q to P Q D n by 0 to n D n to the power of 1 by 3. So, when the interval is very small, as I said before, here this value is obtained by for the situation where the intervals in those specified intervals the values of the equivalent the load radial load and the corresponding value of speed is constant right if the interval is very small we have to integrate these relations okay so that's why we have integrated for the value of sigma n p q and sigma n so from this relation we have p equals to 1 by n integral 0 to n p cube d n to the power of 1 by 3 and this relation is used when the when the load acting on those bearing varies continuously with time for the above equations okay so see here 0 to integral 0 to n dn will be 1 by n n right so that's why we have got p equals to 1 by n into integral 0 to n p cube dn to the power of 1 by 3 so this is the equivalent load for this situation and this is for this specified interval situation Next, we have the relation between the reliability and the life bearing from Weibull distribution given by R equals to E to the power of minus L by A to the power of B. And where L is the reliability, which is the number of bearings in L million revolution by total number of revolutions, total number of bearings taken in that test. Okay. And L is the corresponding life and A and B are the constants. And the equation used for selecting the bearing when the reliability is other than 90 percent so this is the relation between the life of the bearings other than 90 percent and also the rating life which is corresponding to the reliability of 90 percent or 0 0.9 so as you can see here we have the relation between l10 and l and also the relation between r and also r90 so with the help of this relation we can find the value of the life of the bearing which has the reliability more than 90 percent or other than 90 percent okay in most of the situation we have to go for the reliability more than 90 percent where the safety of the humans is concerned okay so next we have the Strebeck's equation which gives us the the value of the load the central load acting on the bearing when uh, and it is static load without changing any magnitude and we have derived this relation in the discussion about the the static load acting on the bearings right so we have found c naught equals to kd square into z by 5 where d is the diameter of the balls and k depends on the radius of curvature of the point of contact of the balls and the races and z is the number of balls present in that bearings okay so it is purely depends on the type of balls are we are using in that bearing so here z is the the number of ball bearings balls in that bearing and d is the diameter of the balls and k is the the point of which is the value which is depends on the the curvature of the point of contact of the ball and the races right so this value is can be found from the properties of the balls in that ball bearing thank you